That blush is blushing, honey. Mm. Mm. What I was gonna do? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. My name is Candace, and this is Everything Beauty with Candace B. So I recently just did a mini shopping spree beauty haul and I got a bunch of new makeup that I want to try out with you guys on screen. So just sit back and relax and watch how I ended up with this face with all my new makeup. Most of the stuff that I got in my beauty haul last week was from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Like e.l.f. has really stepped up their game when it comes to makeup and even skincare. It's super affordable. I see them pretty much everywhere and they may not have all my shades, but they got some products there that I can use. And I think everything on that website is like less than $20. And even if you shop online at e.l.f., like they have free shipping over $15, which is amazing for me because I could have $100 in my cart and see $5 shipping and that will definitely deter a girl. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do not want to pay shipping if I don't have to. Elf has definitely come a long way from that makeup that used to just go in my spin a night bag. All right, so I already have on my moisturizer and my SPF. So the first thing I am going to be using today is from Elf and it's the Acne Fighting Putty Primer. And it's like this green primer. It has like 1.8% of salicylic acid in it, which is good for acne prone skin, which is what I definitely have. And I'm actually kind of struggling right now. I have a few breakouts on my face, so this is definitely gonna help me out. So I didn't get the little scooper thing to scoop some primer out. So I'm just gonna use my little fingernail and scoop me a little bit and spread this all over my face. Hopefully this keeps my makeup looking pretty good for the rest of the day okay so it's not really what i'm used to it feels kind of kind of greasy a little bit i normally use the milk hydro grip uh, primer and that it gets tacky on the face and i feel like it's really like gripping the foundation when i put when i put it on and this feels kind of like a like a bomb, like I feel like I put Vaseline on my face. So I don't know about this, but I'm gonna give it a chance. So let me just go ahead and do my brows since this is not new. I'm gonna just do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. So my brows are filled in and I have on concealer underneath. I use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Deep Chestnut. So now I'm gonna move into my foundation. And today I'm gonna be using what I picked up, which is the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. It is an oil-free foundation with medium coverage. And I got the shade 540 Cocoa, which is neutral undertones. When I'm putting on foundation, I just like to spread it all over my face and then go in with my beauty sponge to even it all out. And the color is pretty good. Like I remember back in the day with drugstore makeup, like you would either be orange or red like pick one today i think i'm going to use the elf bite size eyeshadow and it's in the shade cream and sugar and then i also got a minted palette so i want to see if i can work that in too because i want to try it all today so looking at this elf palette it doesn't have like a crease shade for me so i'm going to use the elf every night palette and I am going to start with the shade, I think I'm going to do the shade Philly and put this all over my eyelids. I don't have, not a clue what kind of a look I'm going for today, but it's going to be something kind of neutral, natural since I have all of these browns and yeah, neutral shades. Let's zoom it in. I don't know if you guys can see it yet or not, but I see it. This eye is definitely darker than this eye. And this Philly shade is, is pigmented. So I just used the shade Philly out of my minted palette. And now let me get back to the e.l.f. one. So I think I'm gonna use this shade here. And I'm gonna put that on my lid. Ooh. I'm gonna put it all over my lid and then we'll finish it out with the darker shade and put it on the outer V area. And I think that'll be it for the eye, for the eye look, so. Oh, 
Okay, Elf. Okay, Elf. Look at that pigment. Look at that pigment. All I did was dip in here and tap on here. Three dollars, y'all. Get into it. Moving into the darker shade. And I'm just using the same brush, you guys. I don't want to do all of those different brushes because the more brushes you use, the more brushes you have to wash. So now I dipped into this darker color and I'm just going to stamp it right on my outer V. And just tap it in. I'm going to tap on both sides before I blend out both sides. It's kind of a lot of um, fallout from the shadow, but I don't really mind it. And that's exactly why I don't put my concealer on before I do my eyeshadow. I just, I can't do it. Like I need the, I, I need the concealer to clean up my eyeshadow. This looks pretty good. I like it so far. I don't have a new mascara. I'm using Old Faithful, which is the Benefit Roller Lash. All right, that's it for the eyes. Now I'm just gonna go into concealer and let's finish out the rest of the face. So for my concealer, I'm still sticking with the same one. I am using the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the matte finish. It's in the shade Deep Chestnut. And when I put my concealer on, I just put it on the high points of my face. So under my eyes, my forehead, down the bridge of my nose and my chin, and then blend it out with my sponge. This concealer dries down so fast, so you have to start blending it out. I normally will use, girl, I normally would use a fan to dry down my concealer, but this one you really don't have to do that. All right, so now I'm gonna clean up my shadow because I didn't brought it all the way down here. I want it to go up. I think this shadow is getting darker and darker as I sit here. Lord have mercy. All right, I zoomed y'all back out. So before I start to powder down everything, I'm gonna use my cream products that I got in my haul. So that is my Putty Blush from, you guessed it, e.l.f. So I got the shade Caribbean, I'm gonna put that on, but I'm gonna put on my bronzer first. So I use my bronzer as like my contour shade and I am using the e.l.f. putty bronzer in the shade Sunkiss, that was the shade name. So I'm gonna start by putting the cream bronzer on. So I'm gonna use this brush from Morphe, it's the M439 brush and I'm just gonna dip it into this pot. So far, I've really liked this bronzer it's pretty pigmented and I wasn't expecting that from a six dollar product yes elf elf is giving it to us y'all like look at this oh my goodness look at that and it's just such a natural like flush of color like I already just brought back all the dimension to my face with just that little swatch I love it. I love it. I love it. I wasn't sure how it, I wasn't sure how I would feel about a cream bronzer, but this is it right here. Hmm. Bronzer is on. Now I'm going to move into blush, which I need a different brush for. Okay, so next for the blush, I am using the Elf Putty Blush and I'm going to be using my Sephora Pro 44 brush to just dip into the pot. This blush has been pretty pigmented, but you don't need a lot. You just want to swirl your brush in and just apply to the apples. Ooh. Ooh. And just apply to the apples of your cheeks. And just be careful when you're putting it on because you don't want it to go too heavy. Right now, I think I can go a little bit heavier than I normally would because I haven't put down any powder yet. So it's okay. We're gonna be all right. I'm just gonna try and blend it. I'm starting to look like a clown. Okay, hang on. All right, so that came out way darker than I wanted it to, but it's gonna be all right, because now I'm gonna go in with my matte setting powder from e.l.f. And we just gonna cover it up, and it's okay. We're just gonna hide the mistakes of the past. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit into the cup, or into the lid. And then we're gonna set these under eyes. And I think I'm pretty done. Actually, no, I need a lip. And then we'll do setting spray, which is another new product that I got from Minted. It's their Better Setter Setting Spray. 
So we'll try that out once I get done with this. Now let's get into the powder bronzer. So I'm using the Brownie, Brownie Bar by Beauty Bakery. I'm gonna use this little darker shade here. It looks more like a contour shade to me, but I think it's supposed to be a bronzer. So I'm just gonna put it on very lightly, the light hand, just to set that cream bronzer that I put on. Oof, oof, it's getting dark. It's getting kinda dark. I better stop while I'm ahead. Wow, that blush. That blush is blushing, honey. Mm. Mm. What I was gonna do? She blushing a little bit too much for me. Mm-mm, y'all, hang on, hang on, y'all. All right, I had to calm that blush down, so I just put on a little face powder from Fenty Beauty just to calm down the pinkness that I'm seeing. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I was looking a little bozo-ish, so I, I couldn't go out like that. So the last step, or the second to last step in my routine is a lippy. So I'm using my new lip whip from Beauty Bakery. It's in the shade Mon Cherie, so it's a bright red, which I'm super excited about. I don't know if it really goes with these eyes, but we're going to go with it anyway. No, we're not. No, we not. I love this color, but we ain't going with this. Hang on. Okay, in the spirit of still using Beauty Bakery on my lips, I'm going to use a different shade that I have. So it is the Lip Whip, but this shade is going to be surreptitious. And I'm going to outline it with their Sugar Sticks Lip Liner. And I don't remember the name of the shade, but it's the brown one. So now I'm just blending this liner in before I add my lip whip. And now I'm just gonna put surreptitious on the center of my lips and blend. Okay y'all, so I put on some lashes while I was off camera because I was just trying to figure out what can I do to make this look better. This, it looks good, but it looks good, but it ended up being way more dramatic than I thought. Thank goodness we're just playing in makeup because I don't have anywhere to go. But wherever I'm going, it's going to be full of drama. So for my last step, I am going to be using the Minted Better Setter Setting Spray. This one just launched, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. And it has vitamin C and vitamin E. And like, it's supposed to be really good for your skin, which is something that I really need right now because I am struggling with acne. So... Let me just spray this all over. Mm. Mm. Okay, I like this setting spray because I have used it a couple of times. But when you spray it on, <coughs> ooh, it's kind of strong. But when you spray it on, I hear like little bubbles on my face. So it doesn't spray out as a mist. It sprays out as like bubbles. So like when you spray it, you'll hear the little bubbles popping, which is kind of weird. I've never had that with a setting spray before, but I don't know. I like her though. I feel like she do something for me. Mm. And the scent is kind of strong. It's, I don't know what the scent is, but it's a little bit strong. All right, y'all, that is it for my testing new products video. Was there anything in here that you're planning on getting or that you already have? If so, let me know down in the comments below and let's talk about it. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. This is the kind of content I am bringing you every single week on my channel. Also hit that notification bell and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.